Hi guys, it's Jessica here for an another dolly video. Um, this was the video that I wanted to make yesterday, but just wasn't able to. Um, and I think the title's going to be something like the first doll of 2018 or the first BJD of 2018. Um, and it's not this girl. <laughs> it's not this girl. Um, she would officially, I'd, I'd call her officially the second doll. Um, uh, they did arrive the same day. They were just open a few hours apart. <laughs> um, but I did want to show you this girl before I moved on to the first doll of 2018. Um, this is my uh, seed doll uh, is it, it's either seed dolls or seed doll. I can never remember which. I think it's seed doll. Um, and this is a seed doll wall head. W O L. Um, she was casted by ha Haru Casting. Um, and yesterday I did the box opening for her tan doll chateau body. It's the K11. And it's definitely oranger than what I would have liked. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Um, but I probably won't do any sort of dyeing or anything like that. Um, I also want to say I'm super behind on answering um, or responding to comments both on YouTube and on Instagram and it absolutely makes me feel horrible. <laughs> it makes me feel terrible when it's ages before I get back to people. Um, and it's not that I don't read them and that I don't care and that I don't appreciate uh, people taking time out of their day to type out something to me um, because I know everyone's busy and that's, you know, taking some of your time to do that. Definitely deeply appreciate that. Um, but uh, life is busy. <laughs> Um, and I, I hate that when it's like I have something that I want to say back to somebody too and I just do not have time to like type it out. Um, but thank you, thank you for everybody who has commented. Um, this last video people had suggestions for different blushing or dyeing, that sort of thing. I doubt I will do anything major. Um, I might do a full body blushing. I've done that with some of my lily cats before. I don't unstring them. I just hang them up, um, uh, spray them with MSC, and then do the blushing. Um, and so come warmer months, I might do something like that with her. We'll see. Um, there's also the conundrum or the issue with tan resins fogging with a lot of sealers. So I might just call it good <laughs> and she's going to be how she's going to be. Um, but I wanted to show you show you her um, all dressed up. Uh, I had I did have time to, you know, play with her a little bit, put some clothes on her. Um, I haven't gotten to take any decent photographs, um, and I might just try to turn on all the lights and get a bunch of lamps out to take some pictures today. Because again, it's you know it's just dark so early. It's winter, but um, <clears throat> she's wearing a. Um, skirt that I made. This is one of Raoken's uh, MSD Lily Cat uh, corsets. So it's meant for like li Lily Cat um, classic bodies. So like Constantine and Ombre. Um, so it's very lean and it actually fits her really, really good. Uh, I'll show you the back. So if you have one of these bodies, the Lily Cat size Raokun corsets will fit it great. Um, it's very high, like her, her hip bones are like here, so it's a very high. <laughs> it's not as long as her waist is, but I love the look. I think it looks really, really cute paired with a skirt and then her really long legs. I just love it. Um, she's wearing these what I think are toner doll heels and um, she's the wig is I stole this wig from my kitty Jolie um, so it's not really her colors with the blue streak I think it would look better with um, if it was gonna have a streak if it was like a gold streak um, or just a blonde streak 
So I do want to eventually get her her own wig and give this one back to Lily, to my Lily cat, Kitty Jolie. Um, but the color, this black color or a really dark brown, I think just really complements her face up and the face up is by Grievous Girl. I can't remember if I did if I mentioned that in the last video, but yes, the the face up is by Grievous Girl. Um oh, and I changed her eyes. Uh Grievous Girl had sent her in a pair of glass eyes that I think that I do think suited her very well. Um but I had gotten these. I've had these for quite a while. But I've never tried them on her. They're a pair of, um, or I already forgot what size they are. I think they're 12 millimeter. Yeah, they are 12 millimeter angelic green doll bakery eyes. So they're they're 12 millimeter with the normal size iris. They aren't small iris or anything. So if you're if you like those, how those look, and you wanted something for your wall, that's the size. But I, I'm just loving her. And like I said, there was a point in time, and I've got, I do have some pictures of that, that I had her standing um, in these heels. So I, it's, it's not too difficult to get her to stand without just barefoot. That's actually not too hard. Uh, but getting her to stand in these really really high precarious heels is not easy and I don't think I'm going to be able to get it quickly and easily here on the camera. I did it, uh, I did manage it and got some pictures of it and so if I can remember I'll try to include some photos in here but no. Yeah. It's not going to happen. <laughs> it's definitely not easy. It's a lot of balancing. <clears throat> So I don't have a name for her yet. Uh, I'm not sure where she fits in yet. Um, I think once I get, I think it's going to help me a lot once I get uh, Edward, my um, Seed Dolls Peabody head on his like final for sure body. <laughs> I think that's going to help me a lot too. So, um, so this wig, uh, it was really uh, floaty and out of control. I had a hat on her for a while trying to see how I liked that. Um, it was really floaty and out of control. And what I did was I took a toothbrush, which is, I think a lot of us use toothbrushes to brush doll hair. It's really good, especially for synthetic doll wigs, though it's, it's not bad for alpaca too. Um, but I wet this toothbrush and then just lightly brushed it down and I think it did a really really good job at taming this because th this was pretty a lot of flyaways and all static so that was I wanted to share that tip because I thought it worked so well <laughs> okay all right so we're eight minutes in and I'm just now getting to the reason for the video um, I wanted to show you the first doll of 2018 that came in Okay Here she is <laughs> This is This is a Clover Dolls dragon. Um, and so Toby here, Toby here is my Clover Dolls little dragon. And I think she just calls this one dragon. Um, Cause this one came first and then at the, a year later she had a small run. She had a small run of these, and then a year later she had a small run of the little dragons. Um, I had to show you the box. I'm gonna show you that because it's really super cute. Came in this really, really adorable box. It 
in this beautifully, it's beautifully padded custom with a custom shape to fit this little guy. And here is the certificate of authenticity. Isn't that the cutest little drawing? And, and then the information about her. Um, she's number five of eight. So there were only eight of these cast. Um, I do think that she did a separate run through Dream Highland Dolls, I think is the name of the company. Um, and they're blushed differently. But this, this artist makes the cutest little creatures. Um, so, um, so this is Toby. Named him after my French bulldog named Toby uh, because of his kind of happy, silly little smile and disposition. And this is Lola. So I kind of had it in mind that I, when, when I got my Clover Dolls Little Dragon, I very much wanted to get more of her sculpts and I really wanted to get one of these and I asked her you know are you going are you going to have another pre-order um, are they going to be available again and the you know the answer was no um, it doesn't it doesn't sound like and it doesn't look like she goes back and re-releases dolls unfortunately um, you know I guess there's always possibility that she will um, I don't think I've ever seen in any of her listings that it was limited and that she wouldn't, but it doesn't sound like she really does that. Um, so um, I really had it in my mind though that I wanted to get this and I, there was one that came up on the secondhand market several months ago um, that, and I saw it on uh, the BG Addicts, BJD Addicts sale page. Um, but it sold before I had a chance to get it. And then <laughs> uh, someone on Instagram, uh, Nushibu, she actually, she actually offered me this dragon. Um, asked, me, asked me if I wanted to buy it from her, pretty much. She hadn't officially put it on the marketplace yet. Um, she, she knew she wanted to sell it, so she just asked me, and I was like, yes, <laughs> um, because I didn't want to miss it again. I said there's only eight of them made in this run. I think that there was the Dream Highland, so I don't know how many total are out there, but there's not very many, and I figured the likelihood of getting another one on the secondhand market, you know, who with in what kind of condition, um, and what kind of price, you know, so I felt like it was a pretty good opportunity and um, I just, I couldn't resist. So this is Lola, uh, as some of you may know, my English Bulldog. She's, she is probably about twice as big as Toby, so it's appropriate. Um, the jointing system, I, I was, I'm just incredibly amazed by the poses and personality um, that you can achieve from this little tiny doll with little tiny little feet. Um, you know, it's got this little tail and little feet and these little wings. Like the, what I can achieve with this little doll um, with such simple joints and then this doll, like the, the jointing is just so well done. Uh, such smooth, nice joints. Um, fully fully lined uh, with leather um, or suede, fully suede with real suede. Uh, definitely could use a restringing. Um, he, if you're holding him, he can kind of hold the, the, you know, the poses, but he can't support his own weight just because he's so loose. And um, I'm going to, I need to go online and do a search and try to find uh, the appropriate size elastic because as you can probably see, it's, you know, it's, it's pretty small elastic, um, and it's going to be scary <laughs> to do, but I think it will make this amazing 
piece of artwork an even more amazing piece of artwork um you said he, if he's not having if she's not having to wear bear weight on him then she can you know maintain positions not too bad uh but she can't she can't maintain them and, and maintain her weight so um got the little posable wings yeah i i'm just like <laughs> I'll probably make her like a little skirt or something, some sort of cute accessory. I don't know. She needs something special. Um, so she'll get some sort of cute accessory, maybe like a, a dragon sweater or something, <laughs> something cute. Uh, but uh, yeah, there's Lola. Oh, her eyes. So she came, um, I think I already put them away. I had them out here. She came with some... Um, they were glass taxidermy eyes, and I've bought those myself to make BJD eyes. I put them in a piece of white polymer clay and um, cook them in the oven. And I've done that to make, basically to get small irises so I could have a really small iris, and I have made eyes that way. So these look like those very same, I, I, I would bet that they're probably from that same place that I've bought mine from, which is Snow Bars on Etsy. And they were very large, and they took up the whole eye socket. And I and you can tell that she designed it that way, um, so that the eye would fill up the whole socket. Uh, and uh, as you can see, so what I've done here is I, I I had some of those glass taxidermy eyes of my own that were smaller, and I basically just stuck them in some white poster tack for now, um, because I don't, I like the look better. I like the look of having the whites of the eye. Um, I think it just feels like it gives it just a little more personality. When they were just all one solid eye, it just kind of made them, made her seem a little more alien and and less cute and friendly. I don't know, it was just me. That's how, that's how I felt about it. Um, the eyes that Toby is wearing Little Toby here, uh, really beautiful eyes. I wish my lighting would catch it better. Um, love, love, love these eyes. These eyes were a gift from Bear Called Red. She's on Instagram. They have a, they take commissions for, um, you know, they do face ups and mods and, and then they have an eye shop that's called Aqueous Humor, which I've always loved, always, always love that name. Um, but she made these uh, as a gift. I had commissioned her for some eyes and she actually sent me several gift pair, including the surprise pair. Uh, I had just gotten him and she sent me those eyes and just they're so cute. They're, they're beautiful. They're gorgeous. They're gorgeous, gorgeous eyes. So, uh, <laughs> probably like within a, the same day, anyways, the same day of opening up this gal, um, I contacted uh, Bear Called Red and <clears throat> uh, commissioned her to make a pair of eyes for um, this gal. And I, I pretty much gave her kind of artistic freedom. Uh, the only thing was that I wanted them to have the um, the dragon eye or cat's eye pupils like Toby does and you know something that's going to complement this the colors of this dragon uh, and with a little reminder that I love pinks and purples <laughs> so just to make them make them fit the dragon and and I'll be happy but I I find that a lot of artists, most artists, tend to do tend to do best when they have uh, artistic freedom um, and kind of can kind of uh, make that decision themselves and kind of have a little leeway. Um, Toby's head doesn't have this, but the head cap I wanted to take you off and show it because it's just like it's so perfectly made too. I'm pretty sure she hand sculpts all of her dolls, though they are just incredibly perfect. Um, but uh, it says five of eight inside, which I thought was pretty cool. Toby's head doesn't have a designation like that, though he does have a very similar little head cap. Yeah, it doesn't have 
It doesn't have anything inside. This is the, the number that he is. I think it does on his COA. Um, but uh, yeah, so Toby and Lola. Um, so who is going to be uh, Olive is the question next, huh? So I don't know. I'm, I am keeping my eye out on the marketplace for another one of these because I think that uh, it would be appropriate size wise, you know, if I had two of these and this guy, because um, Olive and Toby are um, both French Bulldogs. Olive's about 18 pounds and Toby is about 22 uh, and Lola's about 34. So it's not like she's, she's not truly twice their size. Um, She's just a, very boisterous when he comes, she comes across as a lot bigger. Uh, so I don't know, if I, if I came across uh, one of those, um, I might try to get it. Um, it would depend if I felt like it was a good match for, uh, for Olive and if I liked the color, the coloring, you know, um, I wanted to show show you guys how she looks like in, in an SD doll's arm because I think it's super cute. Super cute! So my... <clears throat> Sorry, I'm moving the, <laughs> the tripod around. Um, my twiggling ingenue, uh, my mini fee jury 11, so you can kind of see the scale um, of the, how their sizes relate. So, any suggestions for Olive uh, of, of sculpts? Uh, I like the theme, uh, I like the dragon sculpt theme, and I think it would be super cute if it was another one of uh, Clover Doll's uh, sculpts. Um, I think that that would be super cute, but if there was some other equally cute dragon sculpt, I really like Quarto, Quarto dragons. Um, those are, they're really awesome, but they don't have that same cute aesthetic. Um, yeah. Oh, it's Clover dolls. Yeah. It's, so it's Clover dolls and she does this live journal i think is more of her official where she like posts pre-orders and such so i'll try to remember to put a uh link to that down below i've looked at it before it, it is in russian uh, though usually when she puts up the pre-order she has it in russian and then underneath that she has it in english but of course you could always do translate to um uh, Google Google Translate will translate a page for you. Um, I wish that I had a way to translate pages into English on my iPhone. Is there is there a browser yet available for iPhone where you can translate pages like with Google Chrome, like say on a desktop? If there is, let me know. <laughs> I'd really be interested in that. I had one more topic and I'm trying to remember what it was. Um, oh yes. Okay. I do remember. Uh, I sold a few of the corsets that I've made. Um, the one that I had uh, offered for sale. This one here that I had offered for sale. This one and I also sold the very first one that I sold I or that I made. I sold as well at a at a discounted price because it was my first one and um, does have some minor mistakes. I don't know. I wouldn't really call that it has mistakes. I just think that I definitely have become more refined than with my first one. Um, but that was something I was going to ask you guys about. Um, I don't think that I will. I won't do commissions. Like I am just, I am not ever going there. <laughs> commissions just make me shrivel up and die inside. <laughs> they cause so much stress. But if I were to make corsets and offer them for sale, um, let me get a few examples. So, 
so just to give you an idea of price ranges on the different corsets um, so none of these are actually for sale I'm just using them as examples uh, because I want to hear from you guys what you think would you be willing to make those things or to buy those so at those sorts of prices or if it's just like no way Jose uh, I wouldn't pay that um, so uh, definitely be honest um, nobody needs to be rude or anything though I would hope but if if uh, you're not interested in paying that amount or you think it's too expensive um, this one uh, was is probably one of the most complicated ones that I've done it's large it's large SD size um, it just had a lot more details it had the two um, uh, lines and I used uh, embroidered lace here that was an, you know another step and the lace is not cheap um, this is colored lace here uh, that I uh, the lace is um, I guess I won't say that it's all cotton lace because I did I did have to use a synthetic fiber lace for this part just because I didn't have real cotton lace in that thin uh, shape but um, all like French French lace or high um, expensive um, cotton lace so it's got uh, they would they uh, all the future ones I'm going to make will have the flap um, the modesty flap is somebody somebody said that that was a thing that they really you really used in human corsets and they called it a modesty flap it's got the um, and then of course the the eyelets so one like this is like what did I charge for it 75 um, I think one like what Herla is wearing here it's a it's a again it's an SD corset it has several layers of lace and it's all expensive cotton French lace um, this is one this one would be like what did I decide like around $65 um, I, I haven't made corsets in the MSD size yet <laughs> so um, but this is a Yo SD size corset uh, with several layers of lace and um, got the crisscross pattern in the front. It's got beading, um, eyelets in the back. Uh, just so this kind of level of um, detail, I guess. Uh, th this would be something like this would be I would charge forty five for. Um, so MSD size cor corsets would fall somewhere in there too. I, I don't think, I don't think I would ever make any of these corsets and sell them for less than $45 just with the time and energy that goes into it. So, um, so those are kind of the prices that I had in mind. Uh, uh, so let me know if that's something that people are interested in. Um, if I get <clears throat> enough people that, that say hey yeah I'd pay that I, I want to do that then I might put that effort into making corsets to sell um, that that if, that aren't just exactly for my dolls <laughs> of course I always hold that option that I'm keeping this and that's why I'm not taking commissions because um, my sewing time is few and far between it's never enough and <clears throat> Um, so basically if I sell a corset it's because for whatever reason it's not the right color or is not going to work for the doll that that I intended it for so um, yeah let me know if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff uh, I may put this in its own separate video just uh, just because it's so that it's standing on its own I don't know because we're like over half an hour <laughs> okay guys thanks for watching i'll talk to you later hope you're having a great week bye bye